Hey everyone out there, Aaron with Kite Paddle Surf, and today we are going to be doing a killer review on the Liquid Force Galaxy and the Liquid Force Impulse Foil. Great combination between the two. I've spent a lot of hours on these um, board and foil, so I'm going to go through, give you an in-depth review, and tell you what I think about this item. All right, starting off with the Galaxy board. Comes in two sizes. Comes in a 4.2 and a 4.8. I like the 4.2 just because it makes the foil more maneuverable. It's a little bit lighter under your feet, and you just don't need that large of a board for foiling with a kite. Now, if you're a bigger rider and you're brand new to hydrofoiling, it might be better off to go with the 4.8. A little more uh, forgiving and a little bit more volume, so it's going to float on the water a little bit easier. Um, uh, new for this V2 is what they've done is they've gone to a corduroy um, deck pad here. Really comfortable, super um, comfy underneath on the feet. Uh, spend a couple hours on it and no um, no strange feelings at all on your feet. Really enjoy this uh, deck pad. Um, as far as the hole of the board, it's a double concave. Um, makes it forgiving for when you're touching down in the water, especially with these chimed rails right here. You're on the edge, you're kind of bounced right off the water. And uh, the nose has a little bit of a scoop to it, so when you do put the nose down, it does kind of have a tendency to kind of want to bump back up. Um, awesome board. They've really just done a great job with this. Obviously with the inserts, you can kind of choose what you want to do in line, or you can do the offset windsurf um, kick pad in the back, so you can kind of put your uh, foot farther back if you want that to do that as well. Um, so it's just an awesome board. Uh, the construction of it is uh, EPS CNC foam core. It's really durable and um, can't say any bad things about this board, it's great. All right, moving on from there, let's talk about the Impulse Foil. Okay, so the Impulse Foil, it comes in two sizes. You can get the 60 cm or the 95 cm. And um, two lengths, um, if you want to choose more behind the boat or you're a beginner, go with the shorter mass. If you want to full on um, kiting, you want to get out farther in the water and it's gonna be higher chop, go with the longer length mass. Um, also, I should mention real quick, you can see real quick is the track system on it right here. Is uh, You can move it forward and back with the impulse foil. Recommend always put it farther back because you always want to have your weight forward of the foil. So that's kind of a given, you just want to leave it there. So then moving down from there, this is aluminum and then everything down here is all carbon fiber. Carbon fiber fuselage and carbon fiber wings. That keeps the weight down on this board so it's real manageable getting in and out of the water, and then you can also feel the weight compared to other foils and just how light and lively it is under your feet. So the Impulse Foil Wing is a real uh, mid-aspect wing, so it's not going to have all that lift like a subfoil, but at the same time, it's not going to be crazy fast like the Thruster Wing, so it has a real nice balance between the two. I like this foil because it really feels like I'm surfing. I really enjoy that feeling. You can just kind of get those nice carves in on the waves and it's just real smooth and forgiving through the water. Um, also to mention is the settings here on the rear wing is you can have the wing farther back and that's gonna make the foil handle very smooth and slow from side to side. Move this wing into the next setting and it really comes alive and I'm gonna leave it on this setting because I really like how the board feels. It really feels like a, you know, like a short board with thruster fins, just has a nice snap in and out on the wave. I really like this feeling on the on the water with this board. Okay, so what type of rider is gonna benefit from a foil and a board like this? I think two types of riders. Uh, the beginner who wants to get into hydrofoiling, this is a great setup because it's forgiving, the speed is slow, it's easy to get up on the foil. Um, a board like this is real stable on the water. So overall, I think this is a great package for a beginner to get into hydrofoiling who wants to go out on those light wind days because when it's blowing seven, eight, nine, ten knots, there's not much you can do in any other kiteboarding spot, sport except for hydrofoiling. So this is a great option for that person. Another person is someone who wants to have a setup that they can use behind a jet ski or that they can take and they want to learn to surf with a foil. They also want to kite with a foil. You could potentially actually put this on a paddle board and do some paddle, um, sup paddling with a foil underneath you. So there's so many options with this impulse foil setup for that type of rider. Either person is going to benefit from this setup. It's an incredible foil, incredible board, it's a great package put together and I think you'll be super stoked on it. So if you have any more questions on the Galaxy or by the Impulse by Liquid Force, give us a call here at the shop and we can answer any questions for you. Thanks for checking out this review.